All right, guys, welcome back to another Just Hook It fishing video. Today, we're gonna be going for mackerel. I just checked the weather. There's a nice cold front coming in, so it's gonna be really good for mackerel. When these cold fronts tend to come in, the mackerel tend to get crazy, and they have feeding frenzies. We're gonna be using pilchards, gotch lures, and jigs for bait. We're gonna be in the gulf in about 10 feet of water, and we're just gonna try to get them. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so we have some nice fog rolling in. That's why it looks a little bit foggy. It's not no rain. Fog just came out here in about 10 feet of water we're in, in the middle of the gulf. And we're just pitching some nice little blue jigs to see if we can catch any mackerel, guys. We got a lot of people out here right now. Right now is the time for mackerel fishing. Yeah, look at them right there. Right now, we're going a little crazy. We're using that monofilament. Cause we're feeling a little frisky. But usually you can use wire on these guys. But I got this guy right in the corner of the mouth. That's a nice Spanish mackerel. We used the little blue jig right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Look at that, beautiful mackerel. This is gonna be amazing eating. You can cut this up in rolls and just great eating guys. We're gonna throw this guy in the cooler and catch some more. Alright guys, got a nice little Zero Mac. Nice little Zero Mac, put in the cooler. Keyho! Let's get another one. Alright guys, as you guys can see we got a nice macro on. On the 1K. I don't want to muscle this fish in yet. Come straight to the boat. Everything on the 1K, boys. Everything on the 1K. This channel, I'm gonna catch every species of fish on the 1K. We gotta be careful with these fish. They got some sharp teeth. We're using 50 pound test and some long chain hooks. This could be a nice one. You made a nice one. Oh, he's done. It's a nice mackerel. Look at that mackerel right there. Yeah, we got Florida fishing products 1K. The best 1K out there, guys. Look at that. Nice mackerel. Whew. Look at the size of that Spanish mac right there. Nice big mackerel guys. Look at the size of that Spanish mackerel. Nice big Spanish mackerel guys on the 1K 50 pound test. A little four odd uh, J hook, long shank. All right, let's go. All right guys, so this is a Spanish mackerel. They have some nice teeth for defense. As you guys can see, look at the teeth. Some nice big teeth. They have these yellow polka dots. You can tell that it's a Spanish because of the yellow polka dots. All Spanish mackerel. The zero mackerel has a yellow line coming through right here with some dots. So you can tell that this one is a Spanish mackerel because of the yellow dots. They have some nice teeth that's for eating uh, prey. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. This is amazing eating guys. As I said, you can cut it up in some rolls, put it on the barbecue and call it a day. All right guys, as you guys can see, we absolutely slayed it with the mackerel today. We're using the 1000 carbon edition Florida fishing products. As smooth as they get guys, I highly suggest you go check them out. Beautiful reels, 
They make from the 5,000 to the 1,000. Amazing reels. As you guys can see, we caught the mackerel, the beautiful mackerel. We're gonna fillet them up when we get to the dock and fry them. You guys are gonna see that, and it's gonna be beautiful and tasty in that belly. See you guys at the dock. All right guys, so we just got back to the dock, and the first thing that we are going to do is fillet the mackerel. The first cut you're going to make is down the pectoral fin, up until you hit the spine. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to run the knife all the way down to the tail. There you go. So for some of the fillets, we took the skin off. For this one, we are going to go ahead and leave the skin on. It's a preference thing. I personally enjoy it because it gives the nuggets a little bit more flavor. So what we are going to do here now is run the knife down the bloodline, removing any darker parts of the meat and some bones that may have been left behind from filleting it. So now we are going to go ahead and squeeze some citrus juice. You can use anything from limes, lemons and oranges. We decided to go from oranges on this one. Alright guys, so we just finished putting the juice in it, in the ziplock, and we're going to go ahead and put the fillets in. Alright, so now we're going to get the macro and put it inside the citrus blend. We're going to put about 15 pieces of macro inside of the blend. We're going to let it marinate for a little bit. So we're going to take our fish that's been marinating and add about a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. So take it. Or you want to make sure that you seal the bag tightly just so that nothing falls out and give it a good shake so that it's coated evenly. That's so. Now it's ready to go in the fryer. Now we're going to take our fish and put it into our frying basket. All of our fish are now breaded. Then we are going to slowly lower the frying basket into the fryer. Then we are going to wait until we see the golden brown color and it's ready to eat. We're going to take our fish, take it out. It looks like it's ready to eat. Let the oil drip down there. And that beautiful golden brown color as you can see. Once the oil is done dripping, come here and we're going to go serve it on the plate. All right, now that our fish is done, enjoy. I'm just gonna get a little piece of fish here. Wow, very good, amazing guys. Make sure to try this recipe out and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more. Remember guys, just look it.